Good day, fellow researchers from all over the world. We, Zeus D. Saison and Dr. Lito S. Adansa from Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges, General Santa City, Philippines. Before we start these presentations, we would like to share a quote. Vocational education programs have made a real difference in the lives of countless young people nationwide. They build self-confidence and leadership skills by allowing students to utilize their unique gifts and talents. This quote ignites us, our attention to shape a study entitled Challenges Encountered by the Technical Vocational Program Implementers in General Santa City. Quality education has been the vital aspirations of Philippine education. It means enhancing educational standards geared towards the achievement of educational excellence. Academic excellence is embodied when there is a highly effective curriculum, sufficient material resources, and efficient school principals and teachers. That is why technical vocational program implementers encountered challenges in terms of financial facilities or school facilities, collaborations, and fulfillment in their chosen career. The purpose of this study is to explore, describe, and analyze the challenges encountered by the technical vocational program implementers in General Santa City and serve as open window to see its effectiveness since in the implementations of the program. The research questions of the studies are 1. What are the learning experiences of the technical vocational program implementers in public senior high schools in the implementations of TBL program? Number 2. How do technical vocational program implementers cope up with the challenges in the trend of enhanced K-12 basic education curriculum, specifically in the implementations of TBL program? Number 3. What insights could be shared by the technical vocational program implementers to the teachers and other technical vocational program implementers? In this study, we use single case study. It is a qualitative approach in which the researchers explores a real-life contemporary bounded system or multiple bounded system over time. This is through detailed in the data collections which involves various sources of information and reports, a case descriptions or case themes. For the participants of the studies are the technical vocational program implementers from the different public senior high schools in General Santa City that are 15 years and more in service. In data collections, the researcher undertook the following steps in gathering the data, submitted approval for cover letter, interview questions, survey questionnaires, and a proposal for the study to the Ramon Magsaysay Memorial Colleges, General Santa City, obtained the names of the respondents or the participants, conducted the, the in-depth in interview to the participants, transcribed and analyzed interviewed data in written form. For the data analysis, all interviews were transcribed and analyzed as they were collected. Initially, transcripts were read and reread, and notes were taken as a broad themes of concept emerged. Subset of concepts called categories were noted and gradually fell in the context of the broader themes. For the ethical con considerations, the manner of the study was within the bounds of 7K principles of ethical research, as pointed by the Mac Lloyd 2009 regarding the informed and voluntary consent, respect for the rights of privacy, minimizations of risks, truthfulness, social and cultural responsibility, research advocacy, and avoidance of conflict of interest in the conduct and practice of the study. For the result of this study, the researcher used pseudonym for the purpose of anonymity. We choose to have the name code based on the precious stones such as gold, 
silver, diamond, sapphire, ruby, and emerald. Precious stones are highly attractive and valuable pieces of mineral or rock that are used especially in jewelry. They are considered precious stones because they had a big part in the learning process of the students and it is based on their experience as textbook program implementers. For the challenges encountered by the technical vocational program implementers is unreadiness. During the implementations of the K-12, specifically the program of TBL, most of the schools were not ready to cater the needs of the learners only if the program implementers will be connecting with the different stakeholders, private companies, government agencies, and non-government organizations for financial supports and other needs of the school. For the coping mechanism is number one is teamwork. Teamwork is essential for the company success because it enables the team to share ideas and responsibilities to find ways on solving the encountered problems. After all, the team that works well together can succeed together and produce great results. Another for coping mechanism is the guidance. The school should guide the students because this enables each individual to understand abilities and interests to develop them as well as possible and relate them to life goals. And finally, to reach a state of complete mature self-guidance as a described a describe or desirable member of the social order. According to the Department of Education's vocational educational training prepares students for specific careers disregarding traditional unrelated academic subjects. In TPL, students are working hands-on job-specific instructions, thus the guidance of the teachers is needed. For the insights, is for number one insights is the benefits of beneficials for learners. Learning by doing is the core of vocational education training. Practical learning more than theoretical learning is priority. Students in vocational schools spend significantly more time practicing tangible skills that they will need and can apply to the workplace. The focus of their study is on acquiring and of the knowledge and competencies that they need to work proficiently in their chosen field. With this, they can easily land it into the job because they acquired in the course they took. Another insight of the technical vocational program implementers is the fulfillment wherein the teacher or the program or the Take book program implementers watching his or her students grow and learn. After all, that the reasons why most of us took this job. Light bulb moments where the students suddenly get something they've been working on or for some time make teachers feel like their hard work was work was all worth it. For the implications of the program, based on the challenges encountered by the the participants of the study, their search is sought to seek the realities of the experiences of the TBL program implementers. The researchers personally believe that this undertaking would be a significant source of information not only for the school heads or the participants of the study, but also for the deep ed officials and the government as well. The challenges encountered by the technical vocational program implementers were mainly on unreadiness. That is why they should consider the strategic planning, implementations, and evaluations. They should ensure the success of the program. Further, they also fully to partner supplies, funds, human power, and other needed resources for the success of the project. For the concluding remarks, the results of this study serve as an insight to the challenges encountered by the TBL program implementers. The study found out that the challenges were encountered mainly on unreadiness. 
of the implementations. Teamwork and guidance was their coping mechanisms while the program implementers found the program beneficial for the learners and fulfillment on their part. That is why there is an effective implementations in considering the factors that would give the best outcomes or results. Once again, good day and thank you and God bless.